Hello. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the surface area of a rectangular pyramid. To find the surface area of any solid, what we do is we find the area of each face and then add them all together. So when I think about a pyramid and how many faces does it have, I'm thinking to myself, well, how many sides does it have? Well, a pyramid definitely has a bottom that is a rectangular shape, okay? So for the bottom, we're going to use the formula area equals length times width. A pyramid also has four sides, and they are all triangular in shape, okay? So these are all triangular faces, which means that we'll need to use the formula one-half base times height. So let's look at a couple of examples. Find the surface area of the rectangular prism. So again, I'm calculating five total faces and then going to add them all together. So I'm going to start with the bottom. So if I look at the bottom of this pyramid, it is a rectangular shape. And for the area of a rectangle, I simply take length times width. So for the bottom, I'm going to go 4 times 2, which makes 8. And now I want to start looking at the sides of my pyramid. I'm going to start with this side over here. It's a triangular shape, so I know I'm going to have to do 1 half base times height. So I'll take 1 half, my base is 2, and my height is 3.6. So 1 half times 2 times 3.6 makes 3.6. Now the cool thing about a rectangular pyramid is because the bottom is a rectangle, if this side is 2, that means this side also has to be 2. So these two faces of the pyramid have to just be the same. So side number 1 and side number 2 are going to be the same. Now let's look at this face of my pyramid, kind of this front triangular face. Again, because it's a triangle, I'll have to go one half base times height. So I'll go one half times four times 3.2. And I find that the area of that face is 6.4. And the back face will also be the same. And now I will simply add all of these faces together to find the total surface area. And the surface area of this pyramid is 28 kilometers squared. Let's look at one more example. Again, I'm going to start with the bottom, which in this case is a square instead of a rectangle. So I'll take 8 times 8, which is 64. Now I'm going to start looking at my triangular sides. Because it's a triangle, I'll have to do 1 half base times height. So 1 half times 8 times 10. And I'll get 40. Now the cool thing, when our base is a square, so this side is 8 and this side is also 8, what that means is that all four triangular sides are going to be the same. So all of them are going to be 40. And I'm going to add these all together to find my total surface area. And I get a total of 224 inches squared.